and welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and delighted to be joined as always by Stuart Robson and very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Brentford versus Wolverhampton Wanderers. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Number eight, Messias Jensen. Number six, Christian Norgard. Number 27, Vitaly Janelt. Number 19, Brian McGuire. And here's the starting 11 for Brentford. Well, on paper, it looks a fairly cautious approach because unless their wing-backs can get into more advanced areas, I'm not sure where the attacking width will come from. The initial 11 for Wolves. Ruben Neves plays alongside Joao Moutinho in central midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And now they get the ball rolling. Won it back. Janelt. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Corner given. Can someone get on the end of this? Outrageously good piece of defending on the line. Oh, great defending. Well, they won't come closer than that. So unlucky not to take the lead there. We're getting the ball forward. And what a fast start they've made to this game. Well, here we can see it again. It's a lovely ball in behind, perfectly timed. But I don't think the keeper should be beaten at his near post quite so easily. I thought that was stoppable. Has restarted 1 0 here. Tony crisp tackling. Adama, he's lost it. Ivan Tony. Promising sequence. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Wang He Chan. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Oh. 
Well denied by the keeper, but really he only has himself to blame. Janelt. Making progress. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Terrific block. Well, that's a well-timed pass. Nelson Semedo. And space for the cross. Pulls it back. Disappointing cross and gobbled up by the keeper. Christian Nurgard. Well, visionary passing. Well, he had just gone beyond the last defender, Stuart. Well, that's a real shame because the through ball is really well weighted, but he just took too long to play it. Moutinho it's with Ruben Neves beautifully weighted ball an incisive pass and how about that for a save just the clearance that was needed Vitali Janet that is a wonderful challenge, and they've kept the ball to boot. Dangerous looking through ball. Wonderful chance. And denied by the keeper. Impressive. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. An awful lot of green space to run into. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. Now well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, Raul Jimenez wasn't quiet in the first half. What did you make of his contribution? Yeah, he's had a good first half, hasn't he? Looked lively, created plenty of chances and rewarded for his industry with that key goal. Hopefully he can keep that momentum going into the second half now. Oh, getting the ball forward. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Tony. Well, they want that equaliser, but the passing remains smooth. Oh, but they've lost it now. Jimenez. It's with Moutinho. And slipped through beautifully. Simple for the keeper. Able to deal with the threat. Jensen, Mbomo, Sergi Canos. Now let's see what they can do here. They're using his body to good effect. That's fine play to so keep control of the ball. Ruben Neves. It's with Moutinho. Roman Saiz. Well, just couldn't keep the ball. Christian Nurgard. 
Well, going for power from there, but not worrying the goalkeeper in the slightest. Substitution for Wolverhampton Wonders. Ruben Neves. Jimenez well the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick Neves really good attacking play oh surely might still be able to do a bit of damage well threat over for now 20 minutes remaining. Oh, the ball lost here. Fruitful looking attack. Well, he made sure there was absolutely no way through. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up and now both will rely on their respective benches. Now, sending it in. It didn't happen for them. This is looking threatening. Oh, really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? Oh, a lovely ball. Well, what a stop that was. Keen to take it short here. Just 10 minutes to go. It's Wolves' turn now. Beautiful pass. Can he finish them off? He's done it! What a climax to this game! Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And he does well to read the fly to the ball, to be fair. Almost just cushions it beyond the goalkeeper, and that seemed to catch him off guard. A really good, controlled finish. Well, a second goal for them here. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? Delightful pass. Oh, a vital interception. Oh, that's a super ball over the top. Oh, moving it nicely. And it goes to rubber stamp it once and for all.
Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. comfortable for them 3-0 Frank Onyeka and there it is the final whistle not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today defeat for them it was the nature of the performance more than anything else they never got out of second gear and were completely dominated all over the park tell you what though I wouldn't want to be in that dressing room right now and a genuine handful for opponents, as is often the case, Raul Jimenez. What did you make of him? Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today.